pleasure to uh, welcome you to today's webinar. My name is Adriana Sanchez Aldana, and I'm the Executive Director of uh, the California Council for Adult Education. And today's webinar is the next in a series that we're calling Learn at Lunch. Oops, excuse me, CC, CCAE's intent with this brief webinar series is to bring you topics of current relevance and demand that will help build meaningful connections as we continue to work through these most, most challenging and interesting times. They are complementary to members and are sponsored by your partners in the field of adult education, one of which you will hear from today. I'd also like to offer a sincere thank you to Branca Marchetta, director of the CARAC Consortium in Sacramento and member at large on the CCAE Executive Board for ensuring that CCAE makes these topics available to all of us. Also, many thanks to David Palmer, CCAE Office Manager, for ensuring that all of the details behind the scene work together, particularly the technology. As you can see by the dates listed at the bottom of this slide, we have uh, quite a full lunch and learn schedule rolling into the end of this calendar year. Registration is now open on the CCAE website for the additional November webinars, as well as the virtual state awards event in December at ccaestate.org. Sorry, you're hearing my computer, aren't you? And before we get started, I'd like to be able to advance to the next slide. There we go. Um, I have a few logistics to share with you. All lines are muted. So if you have a question that you would like to, an to ask, please go to the question tab or the chat area at the bottom of your screen or top of the screen if you're using a tablet to view today's webinar. You'll be able to type in questions that you may have during the presentation. We'll be monitoring the tabs and our presenter will address those questions at the conclusion of her presentation. We welcome your active participation today, so feel free to ask questions. Yes, this webinar is being recorded and will be shared after the broadcast. Many thanks to our annual partners, First Financial Credit Union, as well as Burlington English and the GED Testing Service for their uh, continued support of CCAE and the field of adult education. One last logistical item, please be sure to answer the questions in our short poll at the end of the webinar. So for today's agenda, I have been providing a few CCAE announcements and we'll continue with one or two more, and then we'll move on to our presentation. As I mentioned before, there will be time for questions and answers at the end of the presentation, so please feel free to ask. So of course, ongoing, it says keep state and local advocacy strong. And um, to help you along with that, next week we'll be hearing more about how to use technology and to strengthen, to strengthen our state and local advocacy efforts, but please keep it going. Some of next week's ideas might be ones that you've already shared with us, but some might be a new twist on your ideas. The point is, let's keep our advocacy strong by sharing the great work we are doing with our legislators and also join us next Tuesday for, for some great ideas. Also, December 4th at 5 p.m., we will be honoring the 2020 State Award awardees. Um, as you know, this year we were unable to um, have our state conference. We had to cancel due to the pandemic. So please save Friday, December 4th at 5 p.m. for a virtual state awards recognition event to honor these uh, deserving awardees. Registration is now open on the CCAE website and we hope you will join us. Okay, so let's get started on today's content. Today, we are very fortunate to have Therese El Khoury Community Relations Director for First Financial Credit Union. First Financial has been an annual sponsor of CCAE and our state conference for several years. And I know many of you have probably met Therese 
at some of our events. Teresa is here today to talk about the wide variety of services that are available to CCAE members who are also FIRST Financial Credit Union members and to specifically focus on home buying and financing. Therese? Thank you, Adriana. Good afternoon, <laughs> everyone, and thank you for joining our seminar. And okay, let me, Therese, excuse me for a minute. Let me do one thing and stop sharing and get your next presentation up, okay? Go ahead. Sorry. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. And thank you for joining us today for an informative seminars about our product and services and about, uh, also about our home buying process. You will learn about the factor lenders that used to pre-qualify applicants and overall the home buying process. Before we start with the presentation, I'd like to share with you that uh, at First Financial, we value and take tremendous pride in serving the financial needs of our education community, and especially CCAE members. And thank you for their partnerships and thank you for attending our workshop today. As you know, we were founded over 87 years, so two more years added to that slide. And since then, our focus is to help our educators and their family members. It's a role that we take seriously and a mission to which we are just as committed to today as we were back in 1933. The first product that I will be talking to you about is uh, the three special products that our partners such as CCAE members and everyone that works and joined the CCAE membership, you will always receive a differentiation product. So the first product with the second slide, a talk about the uh, uh, the home buying and the free checking account. So free checking account, meaning that you don't have to maintain a balance and you can open as little as $25. And everywhere you are in the United States, you will be able to become a member by joining us through online or joining us via phone or even simply send me an email. The checking account comes with all services, all benefits from online banking to bill pay to statement, e-statement, also to scan your checks anywhere you are using your phone. You have a free access for over 30,000 ATM. And as I mentioned earlier, the products we have they come with a relationship discount, meaning they are differentiated. So once you have a checking account, you will add more to your portfolio. You'll take an advantage of getting additional discount should you decide to refinance or purchase a car loan with the credit union or purchase a real estate loan, home equity, fixed rate or mortgage, or even purchase, purchase or refinance. And there are more than that. So what if you open a checking account? So what's, why is it free? Because we know it's important for the educator. And as you know, in the following slide, the credit unit is nonprofit organization. So we're not like big bank. These time during COVID-19 and during uncertainty time, we have a huge demand on home buying. The rate, as you know, you can see that in my second presentation is extremely low. And most of our members are taking advantage of buying and or refinancing. And the most important, the credit union is accepting application with as low as 3% down payment. And you don't see that in any other credit union. The second part is we do not charge any lender's fees we won't make commission out of the application. It's all related to third party vendors such as escrow and notary, et cetera. And we have additional home loans with a great term to fit any members of CCAE, any family members of CCAE as well. 
and remember, if you decide to have a checking account and set up a payment automatically, any rates you qualify for your home refinance or purchase, we will give you additional quarter percent simply because you are CCAE member. The slide after that talks about the auto buying services. This is extremely popular service. It's completely free. A lot of members are taking advantage of refinancing their car or even buy your car. So if you are in the market of purchasing a car, oh, simply you need to tell us what car make and model you want, the payment that you can simply afford each month. Skip your payment during the summer, knowing that most educated don't get paid in the summertime. And use our auto concierge. They're not commissioned employees like AAA. They work for First Financial. And when you work with them, the credit union is giving you also a discount on the interest rate. Because you're CCAE member, you get additional quota percent, not offered to everybody. So these are exclusive offer. So you tell us what you like and you don't have to go to the dealer. That team works for you. They negotiate on your behalf. And to make it more convenient, they deliver the car to you, to your office. And especially most of you are working from home, they can deliver it at home. Last year, we were able to save at least $2,000 on an average. This year, since COVID-19, we are saving between 2,600 up to $6,000. And as I mentioned, you get a discount by using our auto buying concierge we use the wording POM, which is personalized auto locating management. And it comes more than that. The slide after is, what if you have a visa product with First Financial Credit Union, which is right after this slide. If you take advantage and apply for a credit card with First Financial Credit Union, you can consolidate your debt with no down, with no fees to do balance transfers. And as an educator, we will allow you to skip your payment during the summertime at no cost to you. So if I can uh, bring your attention to the next slide, it talks about this particular product. And it's, we are the third credit union nationwide that we do not charge annual fee or balance transfer fee and or foreign transaction fee. You also get text alert fraud prevention. You also get point by using your card. And one of the most popular benefit is besides having a low fixed rate for life, we will never change the rate on you if your credit going through challenge or your, your credit score went down. If you apply today, you, we will honor what you qualify for today. However, we will lower the interest rate once your credit improve. So it's always gonna be fixed. And then once a year, the credit union will offer increased limit if you wish to do so. Plus having a credit card with First Financial, if you ever went down in your balance on a checking and you're trying to pay bills, but you don't have enough balance, we will be able to overdraft the account by transferring money from the credit card and protect all your bills with no fee. Most banks and institutions charge at least 4%. These are the most popular product that every CCAE member took advantage of. And the slide after that talks about why you are our priority, because it's all about making sure that we provide you more and more at all time. Throughout the year, you get a classroom grant. You, throughout the year, you get teacher grant, credential teacher grant and scholarship, and you get support. And because CCAE have that partnership, you will be able to see that on our website. The next slide talk about how we focus all the time about our 
uh, locations because it's convenient. So you notice we have a lot of branches in the Southern California and one branch is E branch because a lot of members from Northern California wants to join us. So how can they join us? We have a team that chat with you, a team that answer all your questions, as well as be able to support you and open your account. And of course you have my corporate cell phone at any time you can call me or my email. So the location is too important to our member because it's all about the convenience and about the personalized service. You see it traditionally at the branch and you also see it through our e-branch, which is electronic branch. And last but not least, the credit union extremely focused on our commitment by delivering and dedicating to your service to provide you better value and better convenience. That concludes the first presentation. It's always about making difference in your life and making difference in your financials and always reach us to the credit union because we wanted to make sure that we deliver great service to you. Adriana, I'm ready to talk about the beautiful home buying workshop once uh, you would like me to start so I can start it right now. Yes, go ahead. Bronca is sharing her screen. Thank you so much. So as we all know, it's very apparent at the onset of the coronavirus life as we knew it was changing before our eyes. So the which in which the economy was being affected, the shutdown in workplace and business, the credit union are extremely aware and we're so proud to share with you that we are helping our members maintaining their financial well-being. Uh, we quickly communicate how the credit unit support and stand behind our members. And we offer them quite a lot of services throughout the uncertainty time of wet and chartered water. These services have provided a lot of comfort for our members and they took advantage of our programs. We gave them mortgage forbearance. We gave them loan deferment, emergency loan as a very, very, very low interest rate. But today, because it's the market seller and because a lot of members should take advantage of the low interest rate, we're gonna offer you a $500 credit towards any closing costs. If you choose to apply to the credit union for home purchase. So the first screen will talk about uh, obviously my role and we're gonna discuss in few slides what you need to do, what you should not do when you apply for home buying. So the next slide will present the about who we are, which we discussed in our first presentation. But I must share with you that we are now since 2019 at 44,000 members. And this is thanks to our partners. And one of them is the, the biggest partner is CCAE. So thank you for that, Adriana, and thank you for everyone at CCAE for keeping that relationship stronger and stronger. The next slide talk about how is the process works in home buying. It's very important that we review your financials, meaning your income, your credit score, and your down payment, which I said I mentioned earlier, three percent. 3% must be in your account if you want to apply. And anybody, family members can give you gifts. It's okay. All they have to do is just sign a letter that this was a gift presented to you guys towards your home purchase. So the first process, you get approved, or I should say pre-approved. Then you work with realtor. Then you find the home. If you schedule an offer or submit an offer and this offer is accepted, the loan will be closed. So the process has few steps, which is six steps. From presenting your application to get your down payment together, get pre-approval, find a home, get an offer and get it accepted and after that close. So what happened? What do we do with the income? What's important in the next slide is talks about, do I have a steady income? Have I been employed in the next slide it talks about that. So if I can have David uh, push it to the next slide, thank you. Uh, it's important that you have employment for at least two years, two to three. And if you change job, but you're still in the same line of work, we will consider prior year as well. 
And is it possible to verify your income? So if you're self-employed, we need to verify your taxes. If you're on W-2s or on 1099 retired, we need to be able to verify. And is your income likely to continue for next three years? Those items, the lenders will look for it. So those are generic and very details when we verify every step of your process. So that's part of the income. Now you may ask me, okay, how about my credit? What if I don't have a good credit score? And the second slide, we look at your credit. If there is any correction, we will share that with you. Meaning if there are some that was not, was not cleared or was disputed, we will explain to you how you fix it. So if we can look at the second slide under your credit report, the most important that some members do not see that is collection or negative history on their credit. But does not mean they have a, a negative credit or challenge credit. We don't look at one credit report. We look at three different credit agencies. As you know, we pull Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. And the beauty of it, if you go to a bank and apply for a home or a loan, they will not look at your highest score. They will always look at your lowest score. So if Branca can change this, the slide to the next slide, when we pull the last bullet, when we pull those three credits, we will go with the average and we'll go with the highest average, not the lowest average. So if you're applying jointly with someone else, we will take both average and we look at the highest and that's how we give you the rate. The next slide, we'll talk about down payment. It's important that you have the down payment and if it's less than 20%, it's okay. When you pay less than 20%, obviously the credit union like any other institution, will require for you to have what we call PMI, which is private mortgage insurance. Now you may say that my payment is gonna be high. The credit union is offering so many refinance programs, not only 30 years and 20 years and 15 and 10. There is a program called 5-5. That program, it's fixed rate for the five, first five years. So student, te new teachers, family members, uh, your kids, if they're trying to buy a home at a younger age and they have the 3% down payment, this is the most popular program for them because the rate is in the 2% and it's fixed for five years. As they build equity in the house, they will be able to refinance it. This program, it's also popular for retired employees. They're trying, not sure what they do with the next three years or they keep house or sell it. The payment is extremely low. What if the down payment is coming from 403B or from a retirement or from any annuity accounts? We will accept that as well. It doesn't have to be in your checking account could be as a reserve that you have that you can show your credit union when you apply. So that's considered down payment as well. What if I have a gift from family members? You are allowed to show that as well if you wanna put more than 3%. The most important 3% must be your money, whether it's from your retirement withholding or from your account. The slide after that, talk about the rate. I gave you the rate up to November 2019 only to see the trend. These are average 30 year fixed rate. Now, this year, ever since March 2020, the rate is still going down like never before. That is why the credit union is extremely busy and successful helping our members because most of our members, they either purchasing or refinancing. I can tell you we average three to four per branch a day application. This is, it could happen sometimes like a month or per week, but family members are telling other family members why, because we don't charge lenders fee. 
and it's to your advantage. If you're a new buyer or you have a family members interested in buying, please encourage them to call me and take advantage of our, the program. The second slide, what's the process of pre-approval? If you can look at the second one, first you discuss with me the loan program type that you want and you determine what you need. Then you give us your records, meaning your application. And the beauty right now, all the applications are fillable. We can do that for you because a lot of members feel it's too much paperwork. We'll take care of all of that. Then we proceed with the credit through our real estate department. You get the pre-approval condition and it's good for 90 days. So you have 90 days to find a home or get an offer or submit an offer, I should say. And if 90 days pass and you didn't find the property, you can always extend that. So pre-approval tells you how much money you can qualify for. And we always, always share with you that the closing cost, it's for third-party vendor because credit union do not charge lenders fee. Most important, what should you do, what you should not do? The next slide. During the process, Please avoid major purchases. A lot of members uh, don't remember that. They continue using their credit uh, or uh, they cancel credit card on their credit report or they buy major stuff. So it's important that you don't do that because you want to maintain your debt to income ratio. It used to be 50%. Now it's the requirement is 43%. Now, what can you do? You pay your bills on time. You continue to pay down your credit card and you always keep your down payment available during the process. Any major change to your financial could impact the outcome of your mortgage loan. After that, the next slide, you find a realtor. You do the, the process and then hopefully you can match with that realtor and the most important, share with them what do you like, what is it that you're looking for? The financial part discussed it with me, but it was the realtor, the location, the, the school area, uh, the, what city you want to move to. Uh, they know the market better than we are because they're doing their job for so many years. But look at the most important piece, which is the slide after. Do I purchase a home, single family residence, or do I purchase a condo? Which value is going up? As you know, year to date, the price of the houses are going up, but the rate is going down, correct? So why can we not take advantage? And look at this. You will see it, single family median price increase year to date. And it did not change, even though we have the highest unemployment right now, we're going through the, unfortunately, the COVID-19 and a lot of, uh, um, employees lost their jobs and a lot of members lost their jobs but it's important that you also look what's going on there are no too many houses in the market by the way so the second piece which is the inventory the next slide do they have a lot of houses in the inventory of course not because the rate is way low and the demand is too high but the house's inventory, they're not that big and strong like it used to be. So that's something that you will consider that why it's important to, to do it right now. The way you're gonna find a home, the slide after that, you look at the inventory, you discuss the, uh, the negotiable and non-negotiable items that you want, and whether you wanna buy a home, fix or upper versus more ready home, and what type of uh, home you wanna buy. Just for you to know, on that screen at the last bullet, it talks about single family residence, condo or multifamily. The condo price is not changing that much. Therefore, members are aiming towards buying a single family because the value will increase all the time. So they are building equity in the house versus in condo, the prices are not that, they're not changing that much in comparing to single family. The next page, once you submit an offer, after you find a home, the offer is accepted. Immediately you send us a copy or you send me a copy. At that point, your rate is locked. And between you and the seller, there will be contingency plan and a time enough to close the loan. 
end, shows that you have a proof of down payment and the appraisal is done, your deposit is acceptable. And once it's acceptable, it's important, the next slide, to get that copy of accepted offer back to your credit union because that's your contract that it's approved between both parties, meaning between yourself as well as the seller. Of course, if you do a negotiation with them, you always need to maintain the update with First Financial so we can update your loan amount. The beauty part, which is the second slide, is closing your loan and getting ready. The escrow is opened when the offer is accepted. It is a third party vendor that actually transfer the property to you. Similar when you buy a car, DMV is the, the transfer the party. Buying a home, escrow is a transfer party. All the docs are prepared by First Financial Credit Union. We fund the loan, the escrow pay, and you will move to your new home. So what is the cost to you under the last slide, the slide next? There are no costs to get pre-approval. We are giving $500 purchase transaction coupon for attending the seminar. If you choose to apply, please call me directly. My corporate cell phone is giving an old flyer, giving to CCAE. It's also on the website. The credit union will not charge you lender's fee. And the decision and the processing, it takes 42 to 72 hours, 48 hours to 72 hours to get a pre-approval letter in your hand to start looking for a home. The 500 a voucher, we actually send it out and it's good for six, it's gonna 60 days. It starts today and it's uh, confirmed. And if you are interested, you can always call me. My contact info is on the next slide. It has my email address, has my extension as well on the last one. And if you'd like my corporate cell phone, I'm happy to give it to you. That concludes my presentation and I'm open to answer any questions that you may have. Adriana, do we have some question on the chat that we can answer? Actually, I don't see that we do have any questions in the chat, but because everybody's muted, I wonder if anybody wants to take a moment to type something into the chat if you have any uh, specific questions. That's a lot of really valuable information, Therese. Thank you. And, uh, and I appreciate you walking us through all of the steps. Um, do any of our participants have any questions? I don't see anything coming up yet. Um, let's see, we do have something from, yes. from Darla Gray. And actually she was wondering if you could talk a little bit about homes for sale by owner. Thank you for the question, Darla. Thank you, Darla. Uh, that's something that, you, uh, I mean, you can always work yourself on because you don't have an agent, but credit union would not be able, unfortunately, to assist you. Uh, the how to do the, how to sell the home by the owner. Uh, obviously the owner needs to know the uh, required steps to work with the escrow company, but it's whatever the credit union does with the third party vendor, such as escrow, appraisal, title company, insurance, the owner of the house who's selling his home or her home should be able to work with those third party. The credit union would not be able to assist. The purpose of selling the home by owner is not to pay the agent percentage or commission, I should say. I hope I answered the question. Right, but I, but, uh, but First Financial, if somebody wanted to purchase a home that was for sale by owner, First Financial would be able to look yes. at a person's qualifications and, and provide the loan if they qualified, correct? Absolutely. Okay. So if I have a CCAE member interested to buy a home from the owner of the house, <clears throat> not through the agent, but he has agent, mm -hmm. our member agent will be working by the homeowner with the homeowner 
who is the seller mm -hmm. and they will be able to connect together and provide all the information we needed and we continue the communication throughout the process with them as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, Therese, but I believe the state of California makes it a very, well, a little bit safer process than, than other states because of the fact that the state does require an escrow company, even if it's for sale by owner. Is that correct? Correct. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. Yes. And things may change beginning of 2021. Uh, it's again, we're living in to, during uncertainty time. We don't know if this is going to change at the beginning of the year, but we are expecting things to be changed, uh, especially uh, those third, third party vendors as well. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, do we have any other questions? Okay, the, the reason I'm, I'm waiting a little bit is because I know that when I'm typing in a question, I'm rather slow on the keyboard. So <laughs> I want to give, give people time and the opportunity to be able to type in their question, especially if it's a, if it's a longer one. So I appreciate you hanging in there with me, Therese. Of course, and what we can do also, uh, you know, if they have any question about refinancing the home, uh, we have more detailed information, so we are happy to help them. A majority of refinance now takes like 60 days process. Mm -hmm. The credit union is actually, uh, did actually revamp quite a few process that we do, especially with the third party vendor. Mm -hmm. And we are closing the loan between 40 to 42 to 45 days and it's making their experience extremely member experience extremely well and the reason we're all we're actually very busy because they are referring their family members and it, it happens every single day adriana like this morning in between my conferences we had two family members two teachers they refer their parents who lives in northern california and we are doing it uh, remotely so we have another question. Can you provide an example of a breakdown for example, 850,000 loan with the interest and monthly payment? Of course. So Thank for 850,000 loan, what's the value of the house? That's important. So we need the value, the zip code, and the current credit score. So I can do an estimate. So if the question from Jerry can give us uh, the value of the house that uh, he wants to refinance or purchase. I, I think the value of the house is $850,000, maybe for the entire home. Oh, that's a good, okay. So you wanna buy a home for 850,000 and the value is 850. That will be 100% loan to value. Uh, as you know, credit union can go up to 97% home to value. Like we said, 3% mm -hmm. down payment is the minimum to refinance or to purchase. So we will not be able to give you a payment, monthly payment on that. Uh, so 850,000 loan was interest and monthly payment. What is the, am I reading that correctly? We just need the actual value. So is it $1 million home or is it 950,000 value? So can Jerry provide us more information? Okay, 950 value, great. Okay, so let's do that. And what city, if I can ask, and what's the credit score? The rate is as low as 2.83, today. But based on the information that you send us, we're gonna check the rate. She can give us Oakland, okay. What's the zip code in Oakland? Okay, it has excellent credit. So the it's a refinance or purchase?
Let's purchase. Okay, thank you. So we're doing a purchase. And then you're putting a down payment, $100,000. Okay, purchase price, $900,000. Eight fifty thousand nine fifty. I'm just going to give you the quote uh, shortly, and thank you for being patient with me. Nine four six zero seven, and is it primary residence, not investment property? Okay, primary residence, okay. So today's rate, you can do two, like I mentioned earlier in my uh, workshop, you can take advantage of 30 year fixed. No, this is considered a jumbo loan. For jumbo loan, there are no points, no fees. This program has no fees whatsoever. Your rate as of today, is 3%. It's a floating rate till we actually get the application in place. Your principal and interest payment approximately $3,584. The fee is for approximately for the escrow and title approximately in the 4100 that does not include prepaid. PMI, because you're putting less than 20% down, approximately 425. So if you wanna add those up, your payment technically in the $4,000 without the taxes and without the insurance. The one thing you need to remember when you put less than 20% down, well, let me rephrase it. If you put 20% down, you have an option to say, I want my payment to be a principal and interest only. But if you put less than 20% down, you're always required to pay PMI and your payment must include the mortgage, uh, taxes, property taxes, insurance for hazard insurance, and what we call private mortgage insurance, PMI. So in your case, not be able to calculate the taxes and uh, your hazard insurance, I can give you principal and interest plus PMI, it comes around $4,000. And again, there is no fee, no point for this particular program. The fees is all related to third party. And it's one uh, we not our credit union offer jumbo loan, no fees, no point, by the way. The second one, which is very popular, you can do 30 years, but only the first five years is fixed rate. And remember I mentioned during the seminar, I said in the 2% or 2.5%, you have five different interest rates for this five-year arm. That's what we call it. You can have 1.875%. I'm sure you did not hear about this before. Or 2% or 2.12% or 2.25% or 2.375. You will pay the PMI for any of these two type, whether you take 30 years fixed and the second one five year arm, fixed for five years only. But to qualify for the five year, you gotta select the interest rate that meet your budget. So if you're gonna get the interest rate below 2%, you will have to buy point. If you get two point and a quarter, you get credit from the credit union and you don't buy a point. So it's a very, very attractive program, especially for the people that paying less than 20% down. You're welcome, Jerry. So I think you have an, another question, I think. Um, you have something for a first time homeowner, a program mm -hmm. or something like that. That is the first time, pro that's the program that we have that is extremely attractive. We call it five-year arm. Um, and your credit score to qualify for this program 
uh, we accept below 20% down or minimum of 3%, but always remember that you will need to pay PMI. This is a requirement, it's a regulation. Okay, uh, second one, it has nothing to do with topics, but I am looking to finally buy my own home. PMI meaning money down? No, PMI means private mortgage insurance. Uh, think about it different way. When you want to borrow a loan, the banks and credit union needs to have at least 80% as collateral. So when you pay less than 20%, which is the requirement to avoid additional insurance, we require by law to collect primary mortgage insurance to protect the collateral. That's what that means. Like full, exactly similar to that, but it's not car loan uh, insurance package. It's mostly a house additional insurance. Should you not be able to continue making your payment, we already have insurance to protect the collateral. So in case the credit union needs to sell the house uh, to someone else, at least we have enough insurance to protect the loan. You're welcome. Thank you very much. That, that's amazing. You have all kinds of wonderful information and really truly um, for people to get a full sense of what works for them, they really do need to see. Um, and these are great questions. Um, you know, they need to see what what all options are, are available and, and think about what they might want to do as well. And you've given you give so many different options. Um, it's wonderful. One of the things that I wanted to ask about, uh, Therese, is that you said even family members of CCAE members are eligible to belong to First Financial? Yes. Once, uh, uh, like, for example, Adriana is a member, if she decided to have any of her family members to become a member, immediately they qualify. They don't need to be a CCAE member or educators. Uh, Plus anybody that lives with you, same household, they're not related, they're not family members, they qualify as long as they live in the same house. Wow, okay. Yeah. Now, remember the exclusive discount that we give CCAE member, it's only for CCAE members. But for family members is whatever they qualify for. Qualify for low interest rate, but we're giving quarter percent discount on the mortgage for CCAE and their family members if they have a checking account. Mm -hmm. So we have another question that I have to be a member of CCAE in order to benefit from this or my husband. Yes. <laughs> I, I didn't read fast enough. I'm sorry, Gladys. I wasn't reading fast enough. I just got to your question. <laughs> You know, I just remember, Adriana, one thing. One thing I did not share with you guys, it's extremely popular. You know, we talk about CCAE member, they get a discount, additional discount on auto. They get a, a free checking account. Uh, they also get a, a discount on the mortgage. And we have a special program for te new teacher. They've been teaching for three years or less. There is a product called employee flex account it's a flexible cd it's a liquid cd cd stands for deposit so if you have saving that you're not earning any interest rate knowing that the federal reserve right now interest rate is extremely low on deposit credit union is still offered this product for partners only such as our loyal partner ccae this CD, you can earn a 12 months, 3.75% fixed rate. And wow. you can put it this account as low as $50 a month, as high as $3,000 a month. And a lot of teacher or employees at your district or members with CCE said, what if I need the money during 12 months? Do you charge me penalty like CD? No, we do not. 
we are waiving the penalty for one time withdrawal during 12 months if you leave $50 in the account and we pay you interest up to that day. That is extremely popular because if you go anywhere right now, you're earning less than 1% on your saving and on your CD, even if you have a 403B. Uh, let me check, she has a question. She's already a member. Right, and I think that's a that's a question for me to find out if she's a member of CCAE. And I'm putting down my uh, email contact information. And if you're not a member, um, Gladys, you can, a member. you can certainly become a member. But I'm going to um, put in my um, email address so that she can email me. And, uh, and I can help her with that, okay? Okay. And if they chose to become a member, please uh, do email me. Uh, my email address is on a presentation. It's on old flyer. I believe it's on a CCAE website. Uh, And my cell phone is actually on my flyers as well. Great. Okay, so I'm happy to, to check um, that membership information, okay? And I think those are all of the questions we have and we are close to our time. So does anybody have any other last comment or uh, Therese? I'm going to uh, do a little bit of a closing for us. Okay, and I know you're looking at my, my draft screen, but um, that is the uh, CCAE uh, website and events, and you see the um, additional information for our upcoming uh, Learn at Lunch opportunities. And I did encourage at the very beginning, Teresa, be still going to do what you suggested this morning? I would love to do that if, uh, you know, it's, it's something that we need to bring uh, uh, some little bit of fun for the attendees. Absolutely. So I believe that most of the conversation that happened today were questions that were generated by Gladys. Yay. <laughs> and so Gladys, I think I left my email there for you. Um, and so email me and uh, Therese, do you want to explain what's, what Gladys is going to receive? Yes, we actually, this is something Adriana brought it to me this morning, and we are happy to give you $25 gift card from Trader Joe's, a uh, very popular store right now. Uh, and I can send it to you once I have Adriana's uh, information, such as your address and your phone number. Uh, and congratulations. And it's a little something from the credit unit as a token to say thank you for being a CCAE member. And if you're not first financial credit union, we would love the opportunity and welcome the opportunity to talk to you and hopefully you take advantage of our services. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, Therese. Thank you so much for your generosity. So in closing, I'd like to remind you that today's webinar has been recorded and the link to the recording will be posted on the website along with the promotional flyer that Therese has mentioned in her presentation. So thank you to Therese and to our participants, definitely. We look forward to working with you in the upcoming months and see you next week for our uh, Learn at Lunch webinar on advocacy. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank, thank you. Therese. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.